Hey guys, I got my bee suit on. It's 108 degrees in the shade. I got my smoker working and we're about to go into the hive. Now, the reason we're doing this is because our buddy James Crouch sent us a new queen and we're gonna try to fix one of our broken hives down lower. But in order to do that, we gotta come and look in this hive and see what's going on in here. We have not been in here since the last bee attack, or bear attack, right Alan? Correct. So it's gonna be interesting to see what's going on in here. So it's a real windy day. Not the optimal day to be going into a hive, but the queen arrived and we gotta get her in here. So that's what we're doing. First we wanna see if there's even a queen in this hive. We haven't even checked. So that's pretty important. All right. So it looks like a pretty active hive, which is pretty amazing up top here. So I'm gonna come in and see what we got going on here. We've got active brood, we've got larva, we have a queen, Alan. Perfect. We saved the queen. Yay. And this is up high in the uh, brood box, which is a good pattern. I bet you if I go down deeper, we would be able to uh, find the queen, and, but we're not gonna disturb this hive because we know there's a queen in there, which is really good news for us because what we need with the new queen is just some eggs and some bees. And I think that top frame is the frame we want. But we don't want to bring the queen with us. All right, so you want to come in here and see some of these eggs in here? See the white larva in there, Alan? Yes, right there. Yeah, and then we can come over and show them some of the cat brood. Right there. And so we'll probably take this frame down with the queen. The new queen. Yeah. And just make sure that there's no queen on that. And that's what we're gonna do. So, to make that happen, we're just gonna switch out a frame. And check that the queen is not, in fact, on here. So what we have on here are the nurse bees taking care of the brood here. And no queens. Okay, we're good to go, Alan. That's awesome. So they're going in here and we're bringing that down to the other hive and we'll join you down at the other hive uh, in just a minute. All right, so we're back here. Now what we just did was we moved this super from up there with a hive of eggs and some workers down here. And we got the queen right here. So take a look. She's in there with a bunch of attendants. And there's candy on this end. Now this seems to be quite a bit of candy. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that out. It'll also give them some incentive to start go digging at it. And I'm gonna put it in here with these bees and hopefully they take to this queen. So in order to keep the queen in, it's quite easy. Keep the queen really safe. Open up the hive. You can see these are the bees from the last hive already emerging here. And then I'm gonna Gently put this over here, and then I'm gonna put the queen in so she's not suffocating in with these bees that I just put in here, and squeeze her in there. So that the frame holds the cage in place. It's kinda nice.
Okay, she's pressed in there. And then we're gonna hope they do their job. So we're gonna come back in a few days and see if the queen is out of the box. And that is a buck fast. That's, oh, the bee itself is a new species. It's a buck fast, which is not Italian or Cornelian. It's coming out of Canada. This is the uh, great, great granddaughter of the original queen that James bred, I believe. So she's been doing her job for about a year. Now she's moved to Colorado to help us do some work. So it looks like the bees like her. Come check this out. They're on the, they're acting very calm and they're on the queen cage. So they're sniffing a new queen here. And this is the frame that has that uh, brood in it. So that's some good news. All right, let's let them get acquainted. And see what's happening in a few days. Thank you, James. Thank you, James. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up and get some bees.